Hi everybody. Uh, this is my brand new brackish tank. I have not yet done anything with it other than set it up and I've slowly been bringing the water up to uh, the specific gravity I want. I'm aiming for 1.008 which is about where I need it for my puffer. Uh, I have a figure 8 puffer and I have some bumblebee gobies that are going to be moved into this tank from the tank they're in now. So the reason I'm slowly bringing this salinity up is not for the sake of the fish. The fish can get plopped straight in from uh, wherever to whatever. They're urihaline animals and therefore I could take them from brackish right to fresh or whatever. Um, but the reason I'm bringing the salinity up slowly is for the uh, java fern you see in there. I've tried before to take java fern and simply put it straight into brackish water and it is not done well. So this time, since I'm in no hurry to get the tank set up, I decided I would just go ahead and slowly bring the uh, salinity up, and that way the uh, plants could adapt to it and, and sort of acclimate as they go. It takes a very long time. You have to do this very slowly when you're acclimating plants from freshwater to brackish water. Most of them cannot do it. Uh, the java fern can, however, and so I've been slowly bringing it up. And I actually checked the salinity for the first time today, and it was actually only 1.002. So I still have a long way to go, and right now we're going to go mix up a little batch of some salty water and pour it in here, and we're going to bump the salinity up a little bit more, and we'll have a look at that. But I also thought this morning that I have not actually checked to see how much ammonia I've got going on in this tank. I'm letting it cycle in. But I haven't done anything to bring the ammonia level up. I haven't put any fish food or anything in there, and that's normally what I do. I just put fish food in it uh, every day like I'm feeding the fish, and as that food breaks down, it will produce ammonia, and that will uh, create the, you know, the ammonia for the cycle to begin. In this case, you can see some of the java fern is already sort of dead and has some dead edges around on it. So if that's the case, then there's probably a little bit of decomposition going on, and I'm probably producing a little bit of ammonia, and that's kind of helping the tank cycle in. But after several weeks of sitting here, I haven't even gotten cloudy water yet, so I'm assuming that I'm not really moving along in my cycle. So today, if you notice these little bright specks on the bottom, I threw some shrimp pellets in there, and I'm going to begin the process of putting uh, some fish food in here just to start generating a little bit of ammonia and that will start bringing the cycle underway. So right now we're going to go over and we're going to mix up a little bit of salty water. I don't have any real recipe for it at this point. I'm just at, you know going to add some salt to bring this up a little bit. So we'll go look at that and then we'll come over and we'll measure the salinity one more time. All right everybody what we're going to do is take a little bit of uh, warm water here just so the salt dissolves a little faster and we're going to take some marine salts. It's very important to remember you use marine salts when you are mixing up brackish water, not aquarium salts. Get the measuring cup rinsed out a little bit there. So the reason I did that much was because a well-rounded half cup is enough to give me a specific gravity of 1.008 in a five gallon container of water. So I used about the same amount and we're going to dissolve it into this water and then we're going to go pour that into the tank. Uh, if I can keep it all in here, we'll go ahead and do that after I'm done videoing. Um, so this is going to be some very, very salty water. As we pour it into the tank, it'll mix around and it'll bring that 1.002 that we're currently at up a little bit. I don't know how much, but if we bump it up, um, you know, two one thousandths of a of a point will be good and then that'll be slowly rising it up and then about a week from now we'll do that again and eventually we'll get it up to 1.008 and we will check to see how the cycle goes along as we do that. So let's get back over to the tank and we'll pour this in and then we'll check the specific gravity one final time. Alright let's give it a pour. We'll let it mix for a little while and then we'll check the specific gravity. So you should be able to see a big difference between the saltier water fresh water. Alright, so give that a couple of minutes to mix around. I'll go get my refractometer and then we'll come back over and we'll have a look at what the specific gravity actually is and we'll see how much that raised it. So this is my refractometer and the way it works is you just lift this little flap up you put a few drops of water on the plate and then you hold it up level 
and you look through the eyepiece and hopefully we're going to go ahead and do that now and maybe we should be able to get a little bit of a look and uh, see how that looks so here we go all right well that only brought us up to 1.003 so that only brought us up one thousandth of a point in the salinity and that was about I don't know close to two-thirds of a cup of salt mixed into this 20 gallon tank and it only raised it that much so I'm not gonna worry about getting on video you saw the whole process I think I'm gonna do that again and raise it uh, one more little spike like that and we'll call that good for about a week and we'll let those plants sit and adjust to that so thanks for watching this one please subscribe if you're not already uh, I am beginning to work on this tank as I said we're getting ready to work the cycle in and I'm gonna be shooting some videos of that we'll discuss the cycle we'll discuss how a cycle works in a brackish tank and you know so on and so forth so thanks again for watching this one uh, as I said please subscribe and I'll see you real soon on the next one